Hello everyone, today is D-Day. Today is the day that I get my wisdom tooth removed. Only one, I am wearing a shirt that says we are going to Candy Mountain. And um, we're not going to Candy Mountain, we are going to the opposite of Candy Mountain. And I am terrified because I have never gotten um, a tooth pulled before, I've gotten uh, two root canals, bad dentistry, thank you dentist. And this one was my fault, but then the dentist fucked up on the root canal and I had to get a root canal treatment like four years later. Basically I've been having my last hurrah for the past two weeks, acting like my life is going to be over because that is how I feel right now. Because I have a lot of anxiety about this. Don't think that I can like like sit there and like hold my camera because I will be awake, but I will ask the dentist if I can film like some parts like such as I can show you my x-ray, hopefully I can show you my tooth afterwards, it's gonna be great. Hello everyone, so I am actually in the building right now. And so I don't want to be like super loud because there are other offices in here. I was originally going to go to Bellevue in Manhattan or Columbia's hospital, but everyone was telling me, like all the opinions I got was telling me that I was going to be okay, that I didn't need any drugs or anything, that they were just gonna cut the tooth, like pull back my gum, cut the tooth into pieces, take the tooth out, and I could go home and take some Tylenol and I would be fine. I don't believe them, so I figured if that's what everybody was telling me and no one was doing any different, I would just get it removed closer to my house. I do live out by Long Island, so I decided that I might as well just get it done like half an hour away instead of like two hours away if I was going to be uncomfortable or in pain or anything. The travel back to my house will be a little bit shorter, or a lot shorter actually, so let's go. Alrighty everyone, I am at the the dentist he said that I could vlog a little bit and so now I'm just currently waiting for like this half of my face to get numb this is the tooth that I'm getting pulled out so I have all of my wisdom teeth but this one's a little bit crooked and there's like a cavity in it And according to my dentist and a couple of others which I have visited, there is no way to fill it because of the angle it's at and the fact that it is all the way back there and I can't open my mouth that wide. So the only option is to get it removed. And I figured I would do it sooner rather than later because apparently the cavity is pretty sizable and while well, it's not hurting me yet, it will one day. I did bring my own benzodiazepines because I will be awake and I have several problems with the situation at hand so I do feel a little bit better so I guess they're kind of kicking in but we shall see and I brought the entire bottle so just in case I need more I will have oh my god that's my face yeah that's your face and then peel away the soft tissue we see your bone oh man and teeth. that's so cool peel away the, what peel away the bone and the teeth we see your enamel yeah. whoa can you see anything else can you see like inside like the enamel or is um, that like the furthest no, that you can go we can't. i think my favorite thing about x-rays are like the fact that you can see my piercings all the time yeah. that's cool so which ones are the nerves that you're numbing um so here, there's a nerve that goes in to your jaw, uh -huh. like around this area. Yeah, that's the one that... That's, the, that's called the inferior alveolar nerve. Okay. Right? And this is the tooth that we're removing. Uh-huh. Number... Um, 32? Yeah, 32. So what's the second nerve that... There's a, the other nerve that I just, just numbed up, that one that you felt. Uh-huh. Okay? It's called a long buckle. Okay. It runs around this area. So that doesn't really touch my tooth, right? No, no. Mm -hmm. And this opening. What's that? 
that's where the nerve that goes into your jawbone over here, uh -huh. okay, that's where it comes out. It comes, comes out, out. It comes out over here. So I have a hole in my skull? Yeah, you have a hole in your jawbone. Really? Everybody does. No See, way. One on each side. So what is the function? Like, what is it? Like, what? Like, what? It comes <laughs> out and it innervates more. It innervates your lip, okay? And, uh, and, uh, and, and, and it supplies innervation to your gums over here. Okay. okay. So is that why, like, when that's numb, <coughs> this, this entire whole, this thing whole entire gets thing numb? Yeah. Oh, because it follows into that hole? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is so interesting. Yeah. This is science. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Oh my god, that was amazing. So right now, I'm still waiting to be numbed, and I am starting to feel it a little bit, because he numbed more of my mouth, and I have also taken four milligrams of my benzodiazepine, which is way over any recommended dose you should ever take at one time, but I am still feeling okay. I'm not like tired or sleeping or anything, which probably means that I like needed all, <laughs> all four milligrams, but we'll see. Maybe I'll like end up falling asleep halfway and then having a hard time getting a home. We'll see, but... This is what I would look like if I was like bald. I don't look terrible, I don't think. I really wish I had like my earrings in so you could see all of them, and I really also wish I had my uh, filter in, my filtrum Medusa piercing, because that would have been an awesome extra. I did it! There's my tooth! I'm so excited I could touch it. Wait, is this two pieces? Are these both my teeth? Yes. What? Whoa! Cool! Is that my gum? T-shirt. Oh, do I have to wash this before I take it, like keep it? Or here you go, I'm gonna give that to you. <laughs> Sweet! Alright you guys, so I am pretty much done in the dentist and he let me keep my tooth. I have it in a container and I can't really talk right now because I'm banging down on gauze. But I am going home and I feel really good. Like, I think it's because of all the medication that I took. Like, I feel good. I don't know. And um, the pulling part was not that easy. He said it was like mid-range difficulty because he kept like, he got the tooth out in one piece, but like he had to keep like yanking it and yanking it and yanking it. And I was just like, I got to the point where I was laughing because it was just so comical that he couldn't get the tooth out. <laughs> But it came out pretty much in one piece. He had to like slice a little bit of it off where it was like grown at an angle. <sighs> but that's pretty much it. Now I am pretty much just gonna go home and um, do nothing until the anesthesia starts wearing off. And then we'll see where we are gonna go from there because I really don't know. <laughs> that I got a prescription for like Motrin and some antibiotics just in case so I will check back when when um so I'll check back when my anesthesia wears off and maybe tomorrow so